Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today I have a 2021 Dutchman Coleman Lantern Travel Trailer. I'm gonna walk through how to install the Mountain Lock Heavy Hauler Bumper Bracket for six inch bumpers. Now maybe you have gone out, purchased the Heavy Hauler or the Mountain Lock Heavy Hauler Bumper, six inch bumper. Maybe you're looking into it, but you're finding out that the accessories that you previously had on there are not gonna fit on this one because it's six inches. That's where these brackets come into play. They're gonna allow you to mount those accessories back onto this bumper and anything extra you wanna put on it. For instance, our customer chose to move the batteries to the back, so we added a battery box, moved his batteries back here. We're also gonna be installing a storage box using the same brackets to mount them to this bumper. Here are the two different ways that we have installed them already. For a battery box, we mounted them up and down this way. For a spare tire carrier, mounted them across. So you can see it works in multiple different ways for mounting different accessories onto this larger size bumper. Brackets itself are gonna be a steel construction, black powder coat finish, they're gonna hold up really well. It's gonna come with all the mounting hardware uh, to get them installed. The bumper itself is actually, a, a it kinda of adds a rugged touch to the back of this camper. Uh, with having a 600 pound weight capacity, as I mentioned, we can add a lot of different accessories on here that we otherwise couldn't do with our factory bumper. Putting these brackets on here and mounting this, these different items onto this bumper actually, uh, I think, adds a little bit more ruggedness to it. So it's really, really making this camper stand out to, to what we're able to put on the back of it. Now you'll see when we uh, install this one that this bracket here is going to look a little bit different than this one. That's because there are two different types of brackets. Same manufacturer, two different types of brackets. Because this one is actually designed specifically for the six inch bumper, where this one, it'll actually fit multiple size bumpers. For instance, this type of bumper uh, actually comes in different sizes, so it allows you to mount that to fit the different size bumpers, and this one actually adjusts the width. So just make sure when you're looking at the accessories that you're gonna be putting on, uh, you pick the correct bracket. You can find either one of them here at eTrailer. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk through how to get it installed. Start your installation. We're gonna take this bracket here, and then this bracket. I want these holes to face out away from these uh, plates here. And we're just going to take a bolt, line up with the holes. I didn't like that. We'll put a nut on the opposite side. Same thing here. And we can come back with a 14 millimeter socket and wrench and we'll tighten them down. Now, as I mentioned, the reason we're adding this is because when we added this new bumper on, the spare tire carrier cannot be mounted back on there with the factory or with the existing U-bolts. You can see uh, none of the holes line up. So, adding one of these brackets, like this, allows us to mount it around the new six inch bumper anywhere along here that we can fit it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this plate, we're gonna line it up, with the plate on our spare tire carrier. We're throwing our hardware, tighten it down, and then we'll get it mounted over our bumper. Once we get our plates installed, we'll come back and we'll tighten all the hardware down. And we're gonna take it. I'm gonna slide it right here in front of my battery box. We're gonna have a couple of long bolts. We're gonna go in from the back, get these installed and get these tightened down as well. Now because our box is right here, we're gonna have a hard time getting our bolt to come down from the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up from the bottom. Slide it up through each one of the plates.
we're gonna have a nylon lock nut, but on the top side, once we get both of them installed, again, we'll come back and get them tightened down. Now that we've got our bumper installed, we've got some accessories on it, just to kind of give you an idea of some of the things that you can mount on here. We have moved our batteries from the front back to the back, add a uh, battery box, spare tire carrier that he originally had on here. We had some uh, brackets that work with this bumper and also a storage box. There are a lot of different accessories that you can get to add to this bumper because it'll handle the weight. For instance, there's, there's uh, carriers that you can get so you can mount a generator back here. Uh, different things like that. You can find all those options here at E-Trailer. A couple other things to keep in mind is, let's say you're looking at adding this, but your frame rail doesn't stick out past the back of your camper. Maybe it's underneath. There are extension brackets you can get that'll allow you to attach it to your frame rail. It'll bring it out, and then you'll attach this bracket to that other bracket that's attached to your frame rail, if it makes sense. That'll allow you to bring this bumper out so you can get some of these items um, attached to the bumper itself. Another type of bracket is it is a drop bracket. And what it is, it comes out and it drops down. And that allows you to lower the bumper or install it lower. So a lot of the factory bumpers that come on these campers can't handle a whole lot of weight because the only place they're welded is a, a plate that welds is welded right to the frame rail. So when you go to put something in the center, say you want to put uh, a bumper mounted hitch and you want to put a cargo carrier on it. Because the center of that bumper, the factory bumper is not welded or not supported, it's not gonna handle much weight. With this bumper, because it'll handle 600 pounds, we can drop it down, add it on with our factory bumper, we can add the light stuff on the top, and then we can put some of our heavier stuff, attach it to this using the mountain lock brackets. That's gonna do it for a look at and installation on the mountain lock heavy hauler bumper bracket for six inch bumpers on a 2021 Dutchman Coleman Lantern travel trailer.